Bedwetters, we wanted to talk to you about Good Day Daily Multivitamins. Now, just like you, we don't mind a bit of a rap and a tear. That is correct. But it's time we started off setting our bad decisions with some good ones. And this is a good day, good decision. It aids in uh, liver health, digestive health, it enhances memory, uh, memory, sorry, I haven't had my good day, <laughs> cognitive function, haven't had it yet. We both need, we probably need help to in all, this. all of those areas, just quietly. Uh, as well as giving you a much-needed energy boost throughout the day. And it's carefully formulated with quality ingredients and Australian-made. It's live now at begoodhealth.com.au. Begoodhealth.com.au. And you're very clever, aren't you? So we've got a promo code for the Bedwetters. Forever, sure, 20% sure. off. Bedwetters is your promo code. Bedwetters, 20% off, and that'll be the code forever. Just Bedwetters, and you'll get 20% off. It's the least you can do for your health. The kids are good. Good kids. Kids, kids are good. I've got a theory. Oh, we're starting the podcast with a theory. Yeah. Better not be controversial. We're three seconds in. I don't think it's controversial. Yeah, but what you think is not controversial is different to what others think. That's hurtful. So we're starting the podcast off with really very hurtful things. Yep. Is that what we're doing? Yep. I've just got a theory. All right, it's a simple theory. You know how we're all advanced? You know what I mean? We got fucking telephones, rockets to the fucking AI. AI. Al. You know what I mean? You got Al. Got all this shit. I still find it funny, though, in all this, in this world of pure technological innovation, that like we're still attracted to bones. The bones of people. We're still so primal. We're like we're literally just monkeys with technology. Well, you saying you want to fuck a skeleton? Yeah. yeah. No, or like, <laughs> what, what? It kind of sounds so, like what you're saying is that you want to like fuck a roller coaster. Let's let's break. Let's. I need to run me through. Because well, you said that we're still attracted to bones, and then you're saying we've got all this technology. Are you saying that we should be attracted to like AI or like <laughs> no, no, what? No, no, no. I can see where I may have yes, misled you. Thank you, but not really. I'm just sort of giving you. I'm just trying to make you feel better. Cut that deal. Off. <laughs> think about. Think about it. What What makes you attracted to an individual? What the bones in their face. People would be like, "Fuck! Look at that jaw. Look at those cheek bones." You know what I mean? You're attracted to bones. When you marry someone, you give them a rock. You go, their rock, you mine now, because me give this shiny rock. It's primal shit. You understand yes, what I'm saying? But this is evolution. Run me through that statement. <laughs> Don't just say words, buddy, and think I'm not going to come at you. <laughs> Run me through Well, that. Jack, this is how things develop over time. But, but, you see, as Aristotle would say. <laughs> <laughs> Specify what you're saying. No, but like, it's just, you know, things develop over time. And it's like how we still have milk from the, <laughs> you know, and now we still drink no, it no. now. Yeah, stop fini stop half finishing points. Make make a fully fledged, well, fleshed out point. This is your theory. I'm just doth adding to it. Correct, but add to it without cutting yourself off. I want well, to know what you mean. This is a conversation. We drank milk back in the days and now we still drink milk. Same with rice, porridge. Yeah, but don't you think it's funny? Because what I've noticed, this is just me noticing this through social media. Because social media is predominantly just, it's visual, right? That's, I think, half the reason a lot of the content these days is shit. Because people are just hot, right? Yep. So a lot of the content is just like some hot chick doing the most basic fucking bullshit dance. Because she's hot, whatever. A lot of the content with the blokes is like these guys with like red hot jawlines, high cheekbones, and that's why the content's shit. Because we still have this fundamental- Oh yes. I mean, like they don't need to be creative because they're so attractive. Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? And it's just funny to me but that I like people will be like, Jesus, look at that jaw. Like it, growing up on I a farm- I don't think that'll ever change. But growing up, well the paradigms of beauty shift. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like fucking Marilyn Monroe was the ultimate female body figure back in the 50s, paradigm shift. But, but history always but, but, repeats. Yep. Now yep. I'd say Marilyn Monroe's body is back to what people would want in the 2020s. So it's back. Is that what you're saying? Well, for some. Do you not find it interesting? Yeah, I do. Just never thought about it. But, but I sometimes I do. Like, 
you, look, we still do mating displays. You know, pe- people walk into pubs and peacock. You know, peacocking? Yes. And I walk in and they're like looking like a fucking, it's like a mating yeah. display. We're so primal. You still would give someone the eyes across the bar. Yeah, my, it's never worked for me. No. So I just... You go like this. I, no, I stop breathing. I go real red in the face. Usually ends in fainting. I like your palmy. Do you put cheese on that? <laughs> no. G'day. So, did you order the parmesan, huh? Or, or, or I actually prefer a barbecue-based parmesan, not a tomato-based parmesan. <laughs> you with your eyes. Oh, sorry, could you... Yeah, nice to meet you. We're just having a girls' night, eating our palmies. <clears throat> Yeah, could I have a taste of your palmy? Uh, By the way, I don't mean the food. What's on your plate? <laughs> <laughs> That's your best character. What was his name again? Greg? I don't know, but when you go, Taco Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Taco Tuesday. Do you always shave your legs with the razor? Where else do you shave? <laughs> oh, Greg. Oh, fuck, it's funny. It was just one of my little thoughts, man. Yeah. Because, you know, when you're growing up on a farm, especially in a drought, there's a lot of death. Death and destruction everywhere. A lot of dead livestock. So what we would do with the jaw bones of the sheep is use them as guns. These cool teeth guns. Because like, the jaw, they just, you know. Like, as fun as kids. As fun as kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, boom, 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 boom. And I was like, it's funny that, like, we have them and that people... That's what they're attracted to, to these bones. Yes. So essentially... <laughs> Thank you for... Essentially we are skeleton fuckers. Yes. Just with ligaments and muscles and skin on yes. top of them. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. There's a little fly buzzing around. <laughs> uh, we'll just catch up later, I suppose. Oh, how long have we been going for, do you? Should we do the hotline? Yeah, are we done? <laughs> Is that us? Oh. Is that us done? Hey! We done? Yeah, wrap, wrap it up. up. Wrap up your willy. You to do what your daddy should have done. Wrap it up. Disagree. I'm oh. the favourite. To whom? Jill and Franco. Well, makes sense. Two what older brothers and the baby. No, they tell me. What I were am, you going to say? I am Jill's favourite. Yeah. Definitely. Nah, she's starting to turn. Probably, I haven't texted her back in a bit, few days. J- Jill's starting to turn. She's starting to give you a bit more reality. Rather than I disagree. bubble wrapping you. If I said to my face. Remember when the last time we called her? Yeah, and she told you to go. She was like, fuck you, bitch. She's nah, I'm hamming it, it up for the pod. Nah, nah she I'm was, her favourite. Nah, nah, nah. She's, she's learning. She, Jill's like AI, constantly evol- evolving and learning. <laughs> you know, I forgot to tell you this. When I was at the Ralph Lauren tennis suite. Ralph Lauren, yeah. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. Um, one of the like top head ladies came up to me and she was like, are you the uh, poo girl? Oh. Because I'm now known as the poo girl from that flinging <laughs> shit story. <laughs> so you're the baked cum oh, guy. I'm baked cum boy. And I'm the poo girl. Oh my God. <laughs> and she, was, she would have been like, I don't know, maybe early 40s. Really like high up and what it, well, I can't remember what she does, but she's so lovely. And then she's like, you're the, you're the poo girl, Perfect. aren't you? Perfect. Great story. I was like, cool. We've got yeah. the baked cum guy and the poo girl. Well, this is the that's the level of shit that we, this that's the podcast. It's very on brand. Were you surprised? No, I've that they a, took you down then, knowing that you were the poo girl, the the shit flinger. No, huh? And I I go to this actually. Have you ever been there? Where the fish and chip shop opposite um the chemist warehouse, fish at the ba- fish fish at the bay. Where's that? In Rose Bay. No. Dior's naughty as head. Best fish and chips in town. No, nah, the Vaucluse one's way better. Uh, next to shut your mouth. View. They got shut your mouth. calamari. Shut your mouth. No. Best fish and chips in town. This guy called William and his dad own it. And he, I walked in and he was like, I recognise you from somewhere. He was like, I've seen some of those viral videos. I, I, You're the shit flinger. I'm the shit flinger. Well, it did went, that went, it's got a million fucking likes. So that yeah. is what you're going to be and known the, and for. And the baked cum one had like five million Views. Yeah, yeah. It's still, look, that's just who we are. This is lowbrow shit. Shit flinger and and, and baked cum guy. Well, <laughs> I've been called worse. Like what? Late for lunch. Call me what you want, Lou, don't you? Call me late for lunch. Knock, sister. knock. 
Dobře. Jack. Jack who? Jack, you're late for lunch. You son of a bitch. You sick fuck. You're oh, a sick mate. fuck, Delden. Oi, you're a sick fuck, Delden. You're a sick fuck. I've always said that about you, Delden. Oi, have I spun the yarn about how me and Lou went bar hopping? Have I actually spun this yarn? When did we go bar hopping? When we went to that underground bar and the guy had a monkey in a cage. You have spun this. <laughs> and it was Dior giving him head Damn or something. Damn it. Damn it. I was and Dior was giving the monkey head. I was spinning that joke in, yeah, yeah, but fuck, I was going to make it to you, like make it you. Nah. <laughs> You've told it before. <laughs> You've got get some new jokes. I, I don't, I'm not a jokeman. Well, just use my knock knocks. Knock knock. Who's there? Kanda. Kanda who? Kanda who? Nah, didn't work. Let me just oh. think, let me think of one. Let me think. No, we've got this. Jack. Candida. <laughs> Isn't that thrush? Um, sorry. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Little old lady. Little old lady who? Stop yodeling. <laughs> this is shit. <laughs> this is absolute pure shit. No, stop thinking. Enough. We're doing Lulu Go Surfing. Knock, knock. No. Knock, knock. Who's there? Puh. Puh who? Yeah, you're known as the puh who lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with it. Shut I'm up. I'm happy with it. It's, it's actually getting to the point where I'm feeling appalled to be here with you. Don't learn new words and bring them out on this podcast. Oh, as <laughs> if I didn't know appalled, you piece of shit. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Do you think I'm that dumb? Yes. That is so cruel. It's appalling. It is absolutely, in the words of Aristotle, despicable. <laughs> you only know the word of despicable because, because of the movie Despicable Me. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Lulu goes surfing on Google Chrome, Chrome, on Chrome, Google Chrome, Chrome, Chrome. This headline reads, Disgruntled passenger is removed for farting excessively on American Airlines fl flight from Phoenix to Austin. When were you on an American Airlines flight? I am not a big farter. Okay. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> All right. So it was forced to return to the gate. Because another traveller claimed to hear a passenger saying, You thought that was rude? Well, how about the smell? Oh, my God. Like, if days. you need to drop a bomb, it can't be stinky on a flight. Well, let's not use the word bomb and flight in the same sentence, Louisa. Jesus Christ. Don't you remember I mean, a fart. It's fucking... It's is there a photo of the fucker? As soon as he sat down, he was grumbling about something under his breath. <laughs> like, fucking hell. Because of the smell. So, but who, have, is there a photo of the it's farter? Not, you're not going to put a photo on an article of, hey, everyone, here's the farter on the flight. I just assume because everyone films shit on flights when there's shit going on on flights, you know, no. social media. I think there was just a really bad smell and someone was just letting rip. Jesus. So a flight attendant came back and informed the farting passenger that he could not stay on the flight. No. So they kicked him off the flight. They turned around. You've got no, to no leave. they didn't. You've got to leave. They, turned, they didn't re-land the plane. Louisa, because someone farted. It was delayed by 30 minutes because of the fart. <laughs> Imagine delaying a fucking flight. From your from, from farts. Say poos, from your um, fart. It's a hell of a flex. <laughs> what did he eat? To have that kind of guts to stink out an entire plane. Probably followed the diet advice of an eight year, a certain eight-year-old we're uh, very well acquainted with. Chicken nuggets didn't affect LDD's farts. They would have. How often do you fart a day, you reckon? I'm not really much. No, I, how often though? I honestly don't. No, really, how many farts? I honestly don't like. Honestly, reckon. When was your last poo? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, that's all. It works like a charm. Are you just like a clockwork morning guy? I'm pretty clockwork. I two a day. That's like quite impressive. A lot of people have gut issues. Yeah, bowel issues. I have heavy indigestion. But Do you that, take quickies? I deep throat quickies like I'm fucking. Jenna Does that help with your bowels? It helps with my indigestion. So not your bowels? No. Why'd you bring that up then? 
You asked me if I take quickies. No, because you said I have indigestion. And then you said Champion. you take quickies, and I said, "Yeah, I do." And you said, "Does it help no, with your bowels?" I said, "No, I it helps asked. with." It. I said, "I help with my indigestion." He said, "Well, why did you talk about?" It? I said, "Because you asked me about." You it. asked me about your. We were talking about bowel movements, and then you decided to talk about your indigestion. Correct, because you said, "Do you have bowel issues, gut issues?" I said, "No," I said, "But I do get indigestion." So then you, you took said, it on a different path. What's your point? You just. What's your fucking point? You this is you do this all the time. You you gaslight me. <laughs> For a lack of a better term, you're a you gaslighter. You are a gaslighter. You're a gaslighter. Don't keep Sweet little gaslighting little angel, aren't you? Angel of all clues. But don't you think that, would, would everyone in this room agree that if anyone, if anyone is too big for their boots, some cunt's telling you, he's like, yeah, man, I uh, actually sold all my shares on the ASX and made $16 million. And you say, great, mate. Sorry, when did you last do, you, do a poo? That's knocking anyone off a perch. Are you telling me that's not knocking you off your perch? It's very good. Yeah, I actually, um, basically, they told me I'm, you know, the youngest uh, opera singer in Australia. I basically just signed a, uh, a Broadway contract <laughs> over there in America. I'm going to be on Broadway for the next 10 years. What? Now, when, was, now when did you last to do a little plop? <laughs> <laughs> We've got a couple of, a couple of, <coughs> a couple of meetings next week. You want to use that one? Should I do that? Yeah. Remember those We've got meetings? the CEO telling us something and you go, no, that's all great and good, but where did you last do a little poo-poo? <laughs> it's the most humanising. It's the thing. most humanising shit you'll ever get. Mm. I like that one. Sorry for um, being mean about your indigestion. It's fine. It's you can just... have as many quickies as you want. I won't judge. You can do as many poops as you Steph, want. Steph knows. As many quickies. Oh, quickies. There we go. Got it. Quickies, got it. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. Big farter. <laughs> Big LDD. I don't. I'm not. Okay, this headline. How made, many farts do you do a day, though? Jack. <laughs> because you haven't answered. Like, we, we uh, guess. Honestly, not much. I reckon of, I'd do 15. <laughs> that's quite fucked. Is that a lot? I'm, I'm honestly. Like, I'm Boys? Honest, that seems like a lot even. Come on. But I'm the only female I'd in this room. I'd float around the 15 to 20, uh, I reckon. 15 to 20? I've, I've never counted. 13 to 21. Oh, maybe I'll do less than 15. Have I got a problem then? Because I honestly am not much of a father. You're a big 30 girl. <laughs> I'm, I reckon I'd be below three. <laughs> so I'm not kidding. You t- we've hung out all day. You've been farting around me. Lou, what? there are days when we don't leave each other's side. You're just dropping bombs right next to me. <laughs> well, you three doing, bombs. You sick fuck, Dalvin. You're doing 15. You're a sick fuck, Dalvin. <laughs> you're doing 15 farts around me. Yeah. Do you just... Oh, this nah. is gross. Do you like if you're in the car, just like lift a thigh? <laughs> That's <laughs> disgusting. No, you should pull over. Put your legs pants behind down. the head. Yeah, pants down, legs behind the head. Just let rip. Yeah, but sometimes I, <clears throat> sometimes I go full pebula pew on the steering wheel. It's not great. I skunk that shit up. That's called a shart. Heck you yeah. got to lift the leg just in case you leave a little residue on the seat. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, a highbrow podcast. It's a highbrow podcast. All right, next headline. Yep. Person who ate too much kebab called Farted for ambulance. on a plane and had to get it delayed. <laughs> okay, go, sorry, sorry. Person who ate too much kebab called for an ambulance in Wales. Fair enough. I know that feeling of like... Absolutely hooning some food. I thought you were going to say you know the feeling of being a whale. Um, <laughs> well, I did at AJ. Correct, Amundi. You know when you're so full? I felt like calling the ambulance at times. Why are you looking at me like that, Dad? Come now. Well, you've think, never been so full you've thought you were ambulance ready. I thought I was going to die a fair few times. From it overeating? Yes. Being so, you see the amount I order on Uber Eats hungover? My puku's out here. Oh, your stomach. Um, <clears throat> you need to stop thinking that word so, well, it just is sounds, something else. It sounds awfully similar. It, it, it's, it, in Wales. Yes. And then... Too much a, kebab. How much fucking did, kebab the fat fuck eat? Well, <clears throat> could, I could probably have two kebabs in a sitting. If I How many do they hungry. have? Just a kebab. Just one kebab. Well, that's what I assume it says. I haven't scrolled much further now. I haven't read. Have what it. else I have heard have is <laughs> what I like to do with Lula Go Surfing Charge is both of us learn at the same time. Okay, I like that. I like to read the headlines and we go through it together. It's I enjoy that. Yep. Then, then it reads, after receiving calls on subjects as inappropriate as missing false teeth and a hand stuck in a letterbox. 
Whoa, sorry, I didn't listen to that. Say that again. Oh, great. Sorry, I just went somewhere else. I was You're thinking about this person You're thinking about farting. Out. You think about how many farts you've done today. I'm just thinking. How many you, have you done? It's 11.30. I'm just thinking, if you drop them on now, she drop one. <laughs> she, 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 she let loose I'm here. not a Have farter. you let loose here? I'm not a farter. Today? We've been here for a few hours. No, just. Is Mama Bear just, dro- <laughs> just, just crop dust in the stews? <laughs> It's <laughs> Mama Bear walking around. I saw you go and check out the other set before. You just leave them one up there near Tobbs at the end of the this room. Fu- I, mean, oh, I didn't realise you guys had neon lights here. I'm in a room with six <laughs> males and we're talking about me crop dusting the studio. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, it's ju- where's HR when I it's need her? It's just... You're despicable. So, Continue. Well, that's all it was. But hold on. Is there any more information? He just ate a kebab and called the ambulance. Give me the fucking phone. No. This, I'll read you it. He said, this is what the transcript said. <laughs> Operator. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me exactly what's happened. Yesterday evening we had some kebab and I may have had a little too much than I'm used to. Then this morning I've had a very painful stuff. So he got food poisoning. Might have not have been over. No, I think he was just very full. The next morning. You could still be full for a few hours. You could have had a late night kebab. I often get a late night kebab. I'll be eating a kebab at 3 a.m. and then wake up at 6. So cute. For a hot girl lap. Sometimes so, 4.30. So cute. I thought you woke up at 4. Yeah. yeah, that's weird, isn't it? I might have a sleep in every now and then, Willie. It's like 4, 4.30. What were you going to say because I said Willie at nothing, 4.30? Nothing, No, Jack, what? say it. You've what? already spoken about how I cropped us the entire <laughs> studio, so go on. There's a whole heap of um, daffodils on the screen. Imagine if Lou walks through that field. It'd be like a cartoon of them all just going, Meow. old Stinky Lou. <laughs> stinky Lou, Stinky Lou, she this cropped is, us as her friends. This is offensive. <laughs> stinky Lou, this, this very... Stinky Lou, it comes out both ends. Be careful around Stinky Lou. She doesn't poo, she just cropped us, that Stinky Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Stinky Lou, Stinky Lou, she stinks up all the land. No, no Tommy hits. She doesn't need any help stinking, she doesn't need a hand. It's just old crop dust and Stinky Lou. You know the bedwinners... She farts more than three times a day, that's old Stinky Lou. You know the bedwinners are going to take this on now and start commenting Stinky, stinky Lou. Lou. Stinky Lou. Triple J, Hottest 100, 2024. <laughs> yes. Match if we make it for Stinky Lou. Oh, I fucking oi, hate all of I'm you. I'm actually going to write a proper... Sti- if you allow me, can I, can I write a proper Stinky Lou song? I'm going to write that down. Write a Stinky Lou song. Is that our next rap? <laughs> I'm going to write a Stinky Lou song and next week I'll sing it to you. I'll sing about Stinky Lou. Okay. The, the crop dusting queen from the nether regions. <laughs> Great. Oh. Thanks so much. Okay. Uh, There's okay. a whole different meaning to lady from the land of the long white cloud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the cloud just completely dissipated when Lou left New Zealand. We used to be the land of the long white cloud. This one chick left and now we're like clear blue skies every day. That's Stinky Lou. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <coughs> Do you, does anyone recognise that tune? Remember that stinky show, Okie Doke? Eddie does. Good to know. So you've yeah. plagiarised a song? Yeah, the tune, absolutely. You're so original. <laughs> All right, last one for you. Yeah. Give it to us, Stinky. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking children. <laughs> Fucking children. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, oh, fuck, okay. <clears throat> Bouncy Castle in Pakistan, officially dubbed the largest <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Go on, uh, say it. <laughs> what would Stinky Lou do, the Bouncy Castle? <laughs> bouncy, next headline. Largest bouncy castle in the world had to be evacuated because a stinky New Zealander went on there and crop dusted the children. <laughs> stinky loose, stinky loose. <laughs> oh, bouncing all they the all got time. off the ride with a new fake tan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Dude, yeah. What happened? We've heard rumours. What? We've been here 
this whole time with our mate Stinky Lou. <laughs> Stinky Lou Brown, <laughs> Brown, <laughs> Brown Lou. With one of the great tans of all time. Oh, don't even try to tell me that this isn't real. I don't fake tan, mate. We've got it from good authority, you do. And this is all fake. Lick my <laughs> fucking skin. Sorry? No. Sorry? No, what? I think it, sorry? It's not fake. HR. <laughs> Lick my what skin. do you want me to do? Rub it off? Look at that. Yes, this is bronzer on my face. Oh, are you son the of a... The body? Yeah, apparently people are talking about it in, all in the comments and shit being like, that's fake. And then someone at Bedwetter came up to me. She said she's sprayed you. With fake tan. In S Australia? Yeah. Uh, the only spray tan I've ever had in my entire life is in New Zealand when I was 15 before my first prom. Well, they reckon this is just... Hey, I'm the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. Call them. I don't Get the number. <laughs> I, I won't allow that. They reckon it's all fake. That is rude to Franco. Franco. Because I've got this from his Italian jeans. What sort of jeans? Uh, they were G-Star or yeah, Diesel, nice. I think, and they were a faded blue wash. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Good Mate, for yeah. stinking out. Good for, yeah. Good. Yeah, you stink out some of Franco's jeans. Yeah, dude, apparently all fake. Well, it's not true. Read it and weep right here. Uh, bet it's winners, you be the you be the judge, bet winners, but that's the word on the street. Now you know what they're going to do. They're going to go, nice Bondi Sands, Lou. Yeah. You're a fuckwit. What? So now I'm getting stinky Lou and <laughs> nice fake tan. <laughs> at least you don't get, uh, get, when you're at the cricket on the field, someone yelling at you fucking chinless dog. Oh, I'll probably get that, you then, fat eight-year-old. <laughs> it's in Tamworth Country Music Festival. Hey, judge, I think you dropped, uh, I think you dropped something. And I'm like, you fucking chin, you dog. So yeah, we both get it. Oh, it's stinky, stinky Lou fake tan they call her. Get S categories for your old man. SLFT. Would you? No, hold on. Go, let's get up there and get categories for your no, old man. No, let's discuss this uh, jumping castle now. Tell me what happened. No, I want to play categories. But we didn't get into no, that story. That's all. That, there's nothing to it. So that, why are you choosing stories with nothing to it? Because you're just going to jump on and say stinky Lou hotbox the largest. If bouncy castle in the world. Well, we've done that. Now I want to know a real story. Okay, well, Give me the yarn, mate. It's a tourist attraction in Pakistan. It's been named the world's largest inflatable castle by the Guinness World Records. How big? 15,295 square feet. Fuck, that would be fun. It only fits 200 people. Boring. T 200 is a lot for a bouncy castle. Disagree. Ca Could only fit one eight-year-old Lou. <laughs> Correct. The whole thing would be disinflate. You got it. Do you think maybe deflated? That's the bugger. Think we looking for deflated? That's the one I was looking for. You're going to be red hot at Scategories today. With get, get Scategories. Disinflate. Get it for your old man. Hey. Here's your letter. Okay. Hey. Right. Give us a countdown, really. All right, in three, two, one. Three, two, one. Pens down. <laughs> That's tough with an A, don't you reckon? Yeah, that was hard. Yeah, I think that you'll was be. Really hard. I think there'll be a bit of a bit of fighting today with my answers. Well, there'll be a bit of feuding. Yeah, I missed a fair few. Yeah, you would, you dumbass. Sorry, nothing. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's see what we got there, boys. Number one, flowers. Didn't get it. Aniseed. Huh. Uh, yeah, it's, yes. This is a flowering. It's a plant. flowering plant. Yeah. I'll yep. Well, it's anise, not aniseed. Eat my shorts. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. You got it. I didn't get any. Number okay. Two, things that sparkle. Adams. Ass. You could put body oil on and have a sparkly ass. Nah, don't think so. That's buddy. a stretch. Glittery rainbow Adams. I don't know. Do Adam nah. sparkle? Adam's absolutely know. sparkle. Not nah. Always. But if something is, what is, what's everything made up of? Are you, are you saying atoms. At, atoms or people At, named atoms? Atoms. Oh, okay. Well, atoms. then I reckon I get ass. You don't get ass because an ass doesn't sparkle. But well, it does if you've got nice shiny body oil on. No, no, but it, that doesn't matter. Fundamentally, an ass doesn't. Whereas atoms. Well, right? they don't fundamentally. Some of them do, but yeah. not all of them. Well, if some of them do, they do. So if some asses sparkle, then they all... No, but an ass is made of skin. Skin doesn't sparkle. I've got sparkle. a sparkly ass. <laughs> nah, buddy. Because of all that fake tan. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are assholes. What well, does it sparkle too? I don't fake tan. <clears throat> okay. Number three. Well, did I get that or not? Nah. Boys? Mm. 
Well, what about sparklers? No, that's too you could put atoms for every fucking answer. That's the thing. You, yeah, you can right. do it for every answer. It, but not every answer starts with A. Yeah, but True. for this round, it does. So there you go. What about half a point? Don't get it. Wrong. 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 <laughs> Wrong. Voted. <clears throat> Three types of cereal. Didn't get it. Air pops. You've just made it up, and no, I respect I it. No, I haven't. I respect it. It's Type an American or Swedish cereal. Cereal. I think it's from Afghanistan. Corn pops. Nah, buddy. Fuck. Okay, fuck. Uh, it's from Afghanistan. Items. You, oh, sorry. Four items you save up to buy. Air Jordans. AirPods. Yep. You're very clever, aren't you? Five otherworldly. Aliens. Avatar. Yeah. Yeah. I actually got confused by that. I was like, otherworldly. I knew you would have. Oh, okay. Six things that are scary. Ants. Anal. <laughs> you've used anal every A round. You've used anal. Well, it's true. It's not, what, not what ten day dates tell me. Oh, Jack. <laughs> well, he said that you were quite fine. That is a lie. You walked in. You said, "I've just crop dusted. We're good to go." <laughs> Seven TV shows from before you were born. A team. Augustus Gloop goes north. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, you know three characters, three three different characters, or or historical figures, and it's just rinse and repeat. Fucking Augustus. You know what my first answer says for flowers? What? I was going to write Aristotle, and I was like, no, actually, I know one here. <laughs> so I don't get Augustus Gloop goes normal. You do not. Okay. Number eight, found in the woods. Air. I wrote air too. Fuck's oh, sake. Uh, Number nine, reasons. Sending a card. Anniversary. Asshole alert. No. You're like, oh, you've been a fuck boy. No, I'm alert. sending you a card. An asshole alert. It's like, oh, you're an asshole alert. No. Fuck me dead. This game is the best because you get to see how your brain works. <laughs> All right, number 10. Things you can do in five minutes or less. Archery. Appendicitis. Things you can do. Well, you, you can, can do appendicitis no, in five minutes or less. Because if you get an appendicitis... You're a fucking idiot. No, if you get an appendicitis, it comes on straight away. Not surgery, Dior. The, the moment it bursts. Several hours after the obstruction. Several hours. So not five minutes. Ugh. And it doesn't make sense. You don't do appendicitis. Well, it happens to unless, you. I was going to do it unless, this there's week. A, unless there's a stripper or a prostitute whose name is appendicitis, <laughs> then you could, do, you could do it in that context. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, all right. 11, places in your hometown. Art gallery. Apple Barn. <laughs> There's a place in New what? Zealand called the Apple Barn. What? In your hometown. Yes. Of what? What's your hometown called? Palmerston North. Palmerston North, go Apple Barn, pa Palmerston North. There's no such thing. What am I talking about? There's no such thing as well, Apple Barn. There is. Ba there you go. Pick your own. Near yeah, New Zealand. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, ridiculous. That's what I meant. Cross if you it out. Said Apple Farm, maybe, but <laughs> Apple Barn, like. Oh, well, I'm sorry. It was a time restraint, and my brain. Your brain does go crazy. The same amount of letters you could have written there. That's <laughs> true. Can I get that bad boy? All right, and the last one, found in a basement. Antiques. Anchovies. They're in sealed <sighs> cans. Your basement uh, could you know probably what? be your pantry. You have a pantry like a basement. bunker. You know those yes. bunkers where they tin it up. Yeah, of course cool, you get it. <laughs> Fucking imbeciles. Oh, God. One, two, three, four. How did I only get five? I got eight. How did I only get five? Did you oh, get, Because of your did fucking... Did you mark yourself air and wrong? <coughs> oh, shit. Because of your ridiculous answers. Take that answers. for your old man, would you? Remember what happens? Loser. Loser takes. Take it for your old Winner man. Winner jakes. Do a little jingle for the hotline, sis. Stinky Lou says the hotline can commence now. <laughs> Thanks, Stinker. Uh, let's see. What, let's see what we got here. Hi, boys. <laughs> um, just want to ask you a red light, green light. Pointing out someone's pimples, like saying, "Hey, you've got a zit on your face, mate." I think it's red because I'd personally rather die than have that happen to me. <laughs> Oh, I love his podcast. Bye Goodbye. Hi, Bye, boys. It, um, I feel Red. like it's circumstantial. Like, 10 Day Date said it to me the other day, and I was just like, don't, because it was just a big little white fucker. Big little. Well, it was a, it was medium. 
Okay, of course, yeah. <laughs> no, good way to put it. And I was like, don't. And then, but then I contradicted myself because then I go, why didn't you tell me I had a massive pimple there? And he goes, because you got, you were like, don't last time. Oh, don't. True, yeah. Don't. Um, listen, as a, as a, uh, a man whose previous nickname was Jackney, mm-hmm. um, I reckon just don't leave it. You know what I mean? Because yeah. one of my mates, who shall not be named, Ed Liston, used to do this to me all the time. And he's like, I used to do it on purpose because I knew you didn't like it. So when he'd be talking to me, because I used to have severe acne on my face, he'd go like this. He'd talk to me and he'd go, yeah, mate, yeah. Oh, yeah. And what are you going to do about that? And purposely look all around my That's face. That's so at my, Yeah, he was a serial killer. That um, would have really hurt your feelings at that age. To be fair, I was so used to having it. I was like, I know what this little fucker's doing. But when you be talking to people, like, because people can't help but look, you know what I mean? Mm. So when you're just talking to random people and they're like, yeah, mate, how you been? Yeah, good. And they'd always dart down, look at the acne. So it's like, so mate, sad for you. Oh, I'm sure I'm okay. I don't know. That would hurt yourself as an upbringing. <laughs> Sorry, that made zero sense. <laughs> hurt yourself as an upbringing. Yeah, it hurt myself it's as an late. upbringing. It's late. It's pre midday. Yeah, it's just it's we're late. Flat I get out. up at five four thirty, guys. Yeah, she's a. Yeah, I've she's, been up for hours. It's nearly your bedtime. Yeah, uh, I'd say. Years. I'd say red. Yeah, I'm gonna go red, but it's unless like, it's yeah. a fucking whopper and you're like, bro, you need to pop that. Mm. All right, next one. Circumstantial. Oh, g'day, fuckwits. <laughs> um, good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending where you're listening to this and what time of the day. Uh, you should call us back. It's uh, actually uh, Ben. And Jade, not my sister, my girlfriend. I Josh, love ben. Oh, I'm really nice. Um, yeah, give us, give us a call. You won't fucking do it. You it's fucking won't. Or I'd like a hat. I want a We Mean Well hat. We want two We Mean Well hats to match our Excuse Me Senorita t shirts. Thank you and good night. That's Ben from the alcohol shop. I saw him at Beach Road on Saturday night. You know how you will redeem all previous pranks? If I can prank Ben. If you can prank Ben. Oh, what do I say? What was I going to... I was going to pretend to be from a radio show. He'll know. So how, what voice should I use? Hey, hey it's... Man. Hey, it's... Hey, it's Glinda from... <laughs> Glinda. Hey, it's Sarah from... Uh, Bondi. No, Glinda's good. No, it's Glinda from Patron Tequila. We're just wanting to try and get um, some more stockists into... V- <laughs> no. I think you've got to do it, Judge. He'll know it's me. He's a listener of the show, right? He yeah. likes the show. He wants shit from the show, as we've just heard. Do we get one of the boys? Producer of the show, blah, blah, blah. You've won something or you've... You know what I mean? So cause it can't be one of us. It sounds more legit if it's Willie or Dior. And we tell but them... Then the poor cunt hasn't won anything. Correct. And that's just mean. Correct. This prank phone call's given too much thought to it. Bit of fun. Or deal. No, Willie calls, but he's really mean. Yeah, maybe. Willie, could you do it? You, are you keen? <laughs> like, if we did it, it would be like, it'd be like, Liz, we've just, they, they've heard your, um, they heard your fucking thing, they've left. Like, they've said to give you two hats, mate, but like, we've literally got two left. Like, I don't really want to give them to you. Say, so can, can you do something for the podcast for us? Yeah. Can you get them grogs or something? Because it's like, these are literally our last two hearts. We're yeah, off um, you. Yeah, I mean, unless you want to do it. Or you will. Yeah. Do you want to give it a go? Yeah, fucking hell. Ben, is it? Ben. Yeah. So I'm going to call and say, mate, look, listen. We've heard, yeah. we've heard you, we have played your hotline. Like the guys, it'll be played on Wednesday. You said you wanted two hats. They want, well, they want us to give you two hats. They've left. But they don't know that we've only got two left. Like, you need to do something you for do us. us. What can you do for yeah. us, mate? Because these yeah, are the yeah. fucking last two And just keep building it. Try and make it like more and more ridiculous what he has. Yeah, you go, like, oh, we're going to need more Are than you that, happy mate? with that? Yeah, yeah, let's let's cool. see how it goes. Fuck it. Let's see how it goes. All right. I'm going to call him. This whole hype thing and he doesn't answer. <laughs> Hello, Ben speaking. Yeah, g'day, Ben. This is Will from uh, the We Meet Well podcast. How are you, pal? Good, man. How are you? Mate, good. We just listened to your hotline and yeah. we heard that you wanted you know, a, couple of, a couple of hats. So the guys have left, and they don't actually know that we've only got two hats left. So we were wondering, like, what can you do for us? Like, 
in terms of what can you give oh, us? This is the biggest bit tough, isn't it? Uh, no, nah, but would you like, if, you, if you can give us some beers or like just some grog or something, we can maybe, you know, oh, tick oh, for tap okay, kind right. of thing. Like if you give us, you know, we love tequila of course, I can do anything. Like that, I can do anything. Champagne, we, I can we, do anything. So what, what, what do you guys the, do in pallets? You, you want do a pallet pal- of beer? Would you, yeah, do you guys do pallets of stuff? Cause, <laughs> and like maybe a mix pallet because we've got a couple of people who drink wine, a couple of people who drink, you know, spirits and beers. So maybe we'll get you. We'll get you fitted out some stuff if we can just get you know maybe like maybe like a half a pallet. Look, the, do you know what I could do? Yeah, dead set. This is what my family business does on top of where I work. So we could really we could really sort you guys out, mate. What what would that look like? Can you run us through what would that would look like? What's the splits? What do we get? Is it a mixed oh, pallet? Look, I just <laughs> I don't even know where to begin, mate. Hook um, us up. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, dude. Yeah, no, it's, you scratch my balls, I'll scratch yours. Mate, yeah, I've got all balls, dude. Look, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> we've just been sitting here, Ben, for like 20 minutes trying to figure out what to prank you, and then we're like, he's going to know if Jarch and I we're do trying. it. We've got to get yeah, one of the boys. I I you shouldn't have even seen the podcast. I would have just fucking sorted you out anyway. <laughs> oh, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> So now we've shot ourselves in the oh, foot. Oh, fuck, that was good. Fuck that, right. good, Willie B. Where are you, mate? That was good, Willie B. Because we were like, fuck, if I try and do a voice or Lou tries, and do, tries to do a voice, it's gonna, you're going to know. And we're like, maybe if we make it more realistic, we, we admit that we hurt, because we did just yeah. hear your fucking hotline. It's like, yeah, we've only got two hats left, so what can you fucking do for us? Fuck, that oh, was mate, good. I will do whatever you guys need for those hats. <laughs> whatever yeah. we need. Whatever, whatever, whatever you need, Daddy. <laughs> whatever you need for Daddy. Okay. Well, Daddy wants a mixed palette um, of piss. Look, look. Come in the- on Saturday morning. Sort you guys out. <laughs> okay. He's good. Done. Kids good. good. Kids good. Okay, we're sorted. I've got you guys. I will. Thanks, we'll, see you at, we'll see you at Beach Road on Saturday night. Oh, for sure. 100%. We'll be there. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Love Sarah. you. Bye. Willie, that was good stuff. Oh, that was very good. Willie, that was wholesome stuff. You're very good, actually. That, that's good. It would just sort you out. Almost got a palate. Mm. I love that you went for the palate. When you said the palate, I was trying to hold in the laughter. Fuck, that was good. You scratch my balls, I'll scratch yours. Uh, All right, give us another one. Do you reckon we could actually get a palate off the kid? I mean, you probably can't do that for us, Josh, but we could try. Well, I think Willie deserves half the palate for that effort. I agree. Palate appears. Get a fuckhead. <laughs> Uh, it's got a bit of a fucking yarn for you. I got a, uh, a one year old at home. Um, now he's mine. I didn't take him. He's, uh, he's my boy. Um, and he's at that few days now where he's starting to say a couple of things and he's saying like dad, dad and papa and stuff like that. He's, uh, he's not saying mama yet, which is fucking hilarious because uh, his oh, mother doesn't like that. Um, anyway, he said dad, dad the other day and without hesitation, I went straight back at him and went, oh, I'm dad, dad, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, so thanks for that. Um, anyways, keep up the good work. Uh, <laughs> Love you lot. Keep Love you, bro. Oh, that's incredible. Thank you also for specifying that the one you had at home was, was indeed yours. Not <laughs> stolen. <laughs> that just sounds to me like it might be stolen. Like the kid uh, might be stolen. Not, dad, dad. By the way, I'm it is dad, my child. By the way. I think if you've got to specify the child at home is yours, it very well might be a, a kidnapped child. You reckon? Well... You don't need to specify that. I think it was for a gag. Great observation, Lou. <laughs> I think it was a gag for the bedwellers. The bedwellers know all, all about All right, give gagging. me one more. I'm giving you two. I don't have time. Okay. Hey, Lou, guess what? You're on fucking speakerphone. Ha, ha, ha. Dark shit. <laughs> also, where the fuck is Jeeves gone? I, I miss that son. Oh, no. All right. Jeeves is always here. I don't know if you guys know this. Jeeves is always just off camera, just behind. Holding a tray. Holding a, well, silverware. It's, it is silverware from the 1600s. It's, it's, it's medieval Irish silverware. <clears throat> um, and he always has to prep her. It's like a, a meal post podcast. He wears a little penguin tuxedo. That's a tux. Jeeves, is the food nearly done? You know what happens if it's the not, The sashimi mate. and then spicy tuna roll. Buddy, you know what happens okay. if it's not. She, yep. 
It's nearly done. Thanks, G. It's nearly done, Lou. Just come. Calm down. I'd evacuate after because stinky Lou, obviously. Well, evacuate your bowels, absolutely, of the gas that's in there. <laughs> Old stinky Lou. Get fucked. Ciao, ciao. Again. Hooroo.